everybody, it's Karen from Our Fall Clicks. How are you? Happy uh, November 1st, All Saints Day. Um, tonight we're gonna do a pour on an 18 by 24. I was gonna do an 18 by 42. And I said, I'll be honest, here's why I'm not. It's because I cleaned and I vacuumed and I mopped my kitchen floors and that, that size canvas takes my entire island. So any spills go on the floor, which means I would have to mop again. And I'm just too damn lazy. I'm like, I'll do it when the floors are dirty. <laughs> um, let me show the results from the last video. Why do I look so low? There we go. Uh, the fun collaboration pour with Jenny Post, um, where I did my little pumpkins. Um, they were, it's really stiff cardboard. Um, they dried great and relatively flat. Here's the first one. It's very blingy. You can see all the gold and I popped up the little leaf. Um, so there's that guy there, um, the papaya orange, that color there, I really like that with the, with the, uh, with the vermilion, I believe. And then the red came out really super cute, really. And then this is kind of, I think this one's is my favorite just cause I like the shock of red in it. Um, but this is what it looks like. So it comes with a little string to hang it and then I'll have to hot glue the little bow back on and then these are going to get resin and go off to their new owner so i think they're uh they're going to be pretty little decorations all the way through thanksgiving so there's those guys and um inspiration for tonight's pour is Lottie O'Mara. thank you for this i um came very close i'm using a black base tonight i came very very close to using um white down just to have bright happy colors but then i realized um i'm using mostly iridescence and i just feel like they're gonna look best on the black so i went with the black um at the very last second so let me show you the canvas and hopefully um i turned off my pendant lights and hopefully there's not too much of a glare and i got my little stand up super high See, maybe it's just the glare of the, the black, right? And that is just about going to fit in frame like that. Uh, yep, we're going to go with that. So got my cup down and colors we're using tonight. Um, I'm giving the PBO Studio Acrylics a try. Um, I had bad luck last time I used these. My, uh, the, the paint disintegrated like four or five videos ago. But we have um, the PBO Studio Acrylics. This is the iridescent green yellow right there. It looks like this. It's pretty. And then we also have the PBO in the iridescent green blue. So we have those two. And then we have some of the Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Sapphire. And. <clears throat> I didn't, I didn't use the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. I went softer and I'm using soft gold tonight. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather and I have a very scratchy throat, so I apologize in advance. Uh, might try to keep talking to a minimum. <clears throat> and I'm gonna uh, throw on my kettle real quick for a spot of tea. Sorry to do that in the middle. That's really unprofessional, but my throat's, my throat's going to uh, thank me. So. Sorry for that delay, but uh, my throat, I think, really needs it. Uh, no white. Uh, pouring medium is nothing but Floetrol. Two to one ratio Floetrol to paint and then water added for consistency. And I uh, already got my black base down, got my cup ready to go. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave black negative space. I kinda wanna see what the cells do first. I might, I might do the whole canvas instead of uh, leaving negative space, but we'll play it by ear. So with that said, I'm just gonna start by adding a little bit of black. <clears throat> And 
let's go with the green. And the blue. Oh, I always like black and blue together. I'm such a sucker for that. A little bit of black. Yeah, don't go off the edge. Let's uh, let's help you along this way just a little bit. And then uh, let's put some gold on top of that black. And this color. And I'm gonna I'm gonna help this along a little bit. Go back with the black. So um, I'm I'm not feeling chipper, and I I'll be honest, I'm not in the, the best of moods. Uh, it's a long story. Um, I don't know if I even ever talked about it before, but my my daughter is adopted from Russia. Um, she had a, a horrific start in life, and her birth mother drank alcohol so my daughter has FAS which is fetal alcohol syndrome and uh, besides the mental effects of that it's now manifesting itself in physical effects um, not only obviously her brain but it is now affected or had been and now you feel like a bad mom because you didn't realize it um, had affected her all the soft tissue in her soft palate, in her nose and in her sinuses, um, in her eyes, in, in the, she doesn't have like a roof of a mouth instead of it being um, like a little cave where your tongue rests when you're sleeping. My daughter's roof of her mouth goes straight across flat. So now her tongue is protruding and she's, I just see a lot of uh, operations in her future. Um, and it's just awful so uh, all that kind of stuff is kind of on my mind so I'm not feeling particularly chipper and I will say this um, we had a big meeting with her orthodontist and you know I had a good cry <laughs> and then um but the orthodontist is like look i don't know of any parent that actually goes in and checks the roof of their kid's mouth like it's just not something you normally do and i'm like okay well yeah i guess and uh i need some more back um it all started because chloe got her school picture and she's smiling and she looks gorgeous and I noticed that the um, in her picture, you could see a little, just like a little bit of her tongue behind her teeth. And I'm like, why are you sticking your tongue out? And she's like, I'm not. And we noticed that it just kind of protrudes. And that's because she doesn't really have a normal roof of a mouth for her tongue. It has no place to go, essentially. I need more black. Um, why isn't this floating? Go float. Go on, go places. Oh, the places you'll go. Go. Hmm, all right, a shot of green maybe. There we go. Uh, anyway, there's my teeth. The, uh, the doctor asked me if Chloe ever coughs. Like, not like, <laughs> like you're sick or you're clearing your throat, just like a single cough, like, <clears throat> and, you know, we gave it some thought. I'm like, well, now that you mention it, well, yeah. And she goes, that's her body's way of uh, letting her know that she needs more air. And we were like, what? Float, go float. There you go. Um, and it's kind of like when you buy a new car, and let's say you buy a Honda Civic and you realize once you get it on the road, you notice all the other Honda Civics everywhere. It's just kind of like that. Like as soon as 
they said that, it's all we notice. Like every time Chloe coughs, we're like, oh my God, is she breathing? So we have to go get a sleep apnea test and see an ears, nose and throat doctor because the inside of her nose and her nasal passages are all malformed and it's just, it just makes me angry because it was so preventable. And I'm gonna stop talking about it because I can tell I'm gonna get upset. So, but it was just so flipping, bleep, 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 preventable. Anyway, that's my story tonight. I'm sorry it's not a chipper one. Um, go float. No, it doesn't want to. It just simply doesn't. Or I'm gonna give you another shot of, what color, this color. Go float, there we go. I have the laziest cup ever. I'm gonna make it go up. I'm gonna make it cram into this. Kinda of reckoned it that a little bit. There's a whole bunch of gold right there. Go float. And let's do... Yeah, there we go. Off you go. Go, off you go. You can do it. All right, I'm gonna help it along. Losing patience. All right, let's go. Let's add a little more black. Right there, let's do, kind of in love with this green color. I gotta tell you one more thing though. So, you know, I've been going to all these doctor's appointments with her and I had the quintessential strange guy, not to pick on all men, just this one guy, um, tell me to smile and I about lost my mind. Because, you know, I just got all this news yet again about, you know, problems preventable problems my daughter has. And you just never know what's going on in people's lives or why they're having a bad day. You know what I mean? Like you just don't know. And so when he said that, um, I think I just kind of, I didn't swear because Chloe was with me, but I, I, I told him to mind his own damn business or something like that. But boy, did that guy have the wrong timing. <laughs> Oh, man. Why do people say that? I just don't understand. Yeah, come back this way. Come on. All right, stop right there. I'm liking this. I haven't been really paying attention. I think uh, this is more uh, art therapy for me tonight than anything, than trying to make a masterpiece, which is, you know, perfectly fine. I say, do I wanna put these two together? I think I do. Uh, I have two cups of all the colors, so if I run out of one, I can add a little more to this cup. And I think I'm gonna have to. How am I on black? break out the second cups yep because this doesn't want to float and there's not I just need like maybe I can make this work 
Just let me get to the end. Did I force the issue? Let me see. Here's my second cup of gold. It needs a dollop of water, so let me do that. Give that a quick stir. Gosh, the colors are pretty. I don't know what this is gonna be like when I tilt it. My black base was uh, pretty thin. So there's a shot of gold. And I'm gonna do a shot of this blue. Oops. I added a little too much water to it. I didn't add water to the second cups just in case I didn't need it. That way I would have a thick consistency to do with, you know, different, do a different kind of pour with it. And I didn't want to make it this thin if I didn't have to, but I guess I kind of have to. All right. Yeah, I need the, the dark blue to go. That should do it right there. I'm just going to, uh, Yep. And take that all the way off. I really didn't sew up right there. Let's see if we can make it. Let me give it a torch. Move things around. favorite thing is right there in the middle although I do like the green here let me throw in some gloves I'm just gonna smooth this around a bit just to lose some black paint um, I think I want the I don't want I don't think I really want a lot of negative space I just love the color so much I think I wanted to take up a lot of the canvas and I'm hoping by stretching I can get rid of the striations right here Although they do look cool right there, so maybe I'll take that back. And then, uh, yeah, this one will, will be done, and uh, I can go have a spot to tea and uh, some chocolate and uh, have a little pity party. So, let me see. Oh, oh. I'm gonna take this part off right there because I don't, it's, it's oogie. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Yeah, you can come off. You don't like you. And I'm gonna take it up that way and then bring it all down. Uh, let me see, do I wanna lose it over there? I feel like taking a cup. I still have paint left. Let me stop and stare. Let me pause a second. Yeah, it looks naked over here. Let me look at it uh, the other way. Yep, like I feel like, I like the little black areas, but I think I need to take a cup and uh, eke out something right in here um, to fill up the canvas. And then I'll get you guys done. So where's my cup? Let me throw that back on here. Just like right in here. And looking at what colors. So I got a lot of blue, 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 and I got the green up there. So I think I want green down here. So I'm gonna do the rest of the green. Or rest out of that cup anyway. I have another cup if I need it. And then 
some of the blue. Mm. Matching gold right there would be nice. I'm gonna put in a whole bunch of gold. Woohoo! That did the trick. gold and what do I have left I might have to use the one blue I'll kill off this green can you guys see what I'm doing yeah you can see oh I just oh, I guess it doesn't matter I just splooged it right on canvas all right Hopefully this is enough to get me, get me over. I'm like hop, skipping and jumping it. That makes a really cool effect. Wow. I should do that more in other places. Will that work here or am I out of paint? Kind of out of paint. I'm going to do that right there though. Hold on a second. I like that. Just with the gold. I think I kind of like the soft gold because it's not so um, yellow looking you know what I mean like don't get me wrong that 24 karat gold is the bomb but this is nice too I'm gonna use that with the gold and the green well, you know what Karen it's an island you can walk around <laughs> Uber moved. I don't know why out of the um, out of the blue all of a sudden I swear three people um, have mentioned to me or asked me when are you doing another video where you drink <laughs> and I had to laugh like oh I just, is that gonna be a thing <laughs> I think I just it kind of cracked me up so but I'm not really a big drinker y'all so I don't know when I would do that again. Is this gonna do it now? Look at that, when you press on the cup and you kind of hop, it like it's like a little cell activator. Check that out. You see that, that's cool. Let that settle down a little bit. Look at that one cell right there. Yeah, that definitely uh, helped. Um, that corner, looking good. I might try to tilt it up this way just a smidge. Um, very kind of abstract. Pretty. Pretty though. Let's roll things up just a little bit. Everybody go north. And then everybody, I don't like this. This looks like, like it's, uh, I don't know what that's from. Is it ripped? Hmm. That looks like waves. I'm going to ponder that. Uh, and then let me bring it back down again. Or no, I was going to go toward me. Just a second. I'm done. Ta-da! I 
I gotta zoom you guys in on my favorite part. And then, uh, seriously, go have a cup of tea. Let me pop you down. That's, uh, that's as close as I can get you for, like, a visual of the whole thing. But let me, uh, show you some of the better bits, bits, bits and bobs. It's my favorite thing right now are those, those cells. Is that a glare? That right there, and then over here. I like it kind of like this whole section too. Very cool. And I'm expecting the cells to like really grow. Like things are growing here in the middle already. And I like how wispy all this looks here. And these cells right there, they're pretty fab. And then up here too, the green guys. Yeah. Come up high, as high as I can. And, uh, ooh. Come on. And, where am I? I'm having trouble. There's such a glare. Yeah, there I am. <laughs> ooh, under uh, 26 minutes. Pretty good for me. Um, thanks for watching and tuning in. And uh, apologies for the tale of woe. I just, you know, feeling it tonight. So, uh, sorry about that. Um, love you guys. Thanks for the love and support and all the lovely comments. I read everything. I try to respond to everything. Um, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm back. So, uh, I sat on that painting and as predicted, you know, with the deco art, uh, the cells really grew and it was hideous. Like I just hated the whole painting and I just poured most of it off to kind of like an amazing effect. And I'm like, damn it, you should have put the camera back on. So better late than never. I'm just finishing up parts of it. Let me uh, get you down and show you um, what this looks like now. Cause I, I, I've redone it. Um, so yeah. Uh, and you know, I was under 30 minutes. So I'm like, Oh, I can film a little more. So this is what it looks like now. Uh, I was able to keep a lot of the cells. I just added some blue right there. I was just mixing up a cup of green cause I have like this really cool green and black thing going on down in this one corner with the cells. I don't like this. I'm gonna stick my finger in it and break that up. Uh, this is moody as all get out. I'm not real sure about this one corner, so I'm working on this corner. Make sure you can see the whole corner up here. And I'm just gonna um, add a little water to this uh, green color and um, use my stick and smear it kind of over that blue with maybe some gold. It doesn't have to match this whole thing. Um, I'm suddenly very excited over this painting. So I think, uh, you know, the first part of that video was definitely just art therapy. And uh, now suddenly I'm, uh, I'm, what am I? I'm invested. I'm in, suddenly very invested in this painting. So need some more water. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna try and uh, do something with this one corner. Um, think about this other corner or maybe leave it. Um, I think it just bothers, bothers my sensibilities because everything else is going um, nice and horizontal and then it kind of like takes a turn. Maybe I can live with it, I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah, literally all I did was lift it up at this end and I tilted off a bunch this way and a bunch toward me. And that's pretty much all you missed, um, which was probably um, a good move um, anyway because there was too much paint on the canvas. So um, that problem is now solved. So I am just going to come around here. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. And I'm just going to take this from here. I might have to add a little black there. I 
I think I'll live with that one corner. I might just put some more bold, bold, gold, bold, some gold on it. And I'm gonna run some gold through here too. It would be nice if it sells up, but it doesn't really have to if it doesn't want to. Just something to finish off this corner. my gold, helping it along right there. That's such on the edge. I need to take my torch to it right there. This is selling up, so that's good. A little pop of color there in the corner. Let me look at this gold corner. I think I'm gonna live with it because it's it is pretty and this is kind of turning anyway and uh, I think it adds some visual interest I'm just gonna put a little more gold on this corner with a little bit of black right there all right let me I'm gonna smear this with my finger Believe it or not. Don't mess it up, Karen. Let, let the uh, paint do its thing right there. Might add just a little bit of green in there, too. Maybe just a little little line somewhere. Getting all picky now. See? You know, that's when you know you're invested in your in whatever it is you're working on. Let me stare. Yeah. See things are selling up anymore. I don't like you. Oh yeah, see the the uh, the paint on the canvas now is nice and thin. It's much better. That looks good. That looks good there. That's blending, getting some cells. I'm gonna give that a little torch. I don't really need cells there, but um yeah, now I am happy to die. I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see uh, me pouring it off um, because I got all excited um, as I was pouring it off. Uh, super, super, super pretty now. Um, uh, it's hard to see. I'm, I'm looking at, at what I see on the uh, on my iPhone and it's it's not conveying. But hopefully, maybe up close, you guys will be able to appreciate it and. I'll take some good photos, but yay, now I'm happy. Like just this, cause you know, I, you guys, I'm like a sucker for thin lines. So like all of this stuff, I just love, 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 mad love, deep, deep love affair with that. And right here, how there's like a lake, love that too. Check out this whole area here really really pretty and then same thing up here subtle subtle with the black little cells there and then that blue lake that because you know blue and black together are just amazing and then up here this is awesome as well the blending of the colors really really like that I have a little bit of breakage from something I'm not sure where it looks a little ripped I think it actually adds to the painting this whole part up here just looks like, I don't know if it's, this part here looks like a, a cloud formation or just rocks. And then you got the little green section 
and like here I don't know if I can get in it's very subtle with cells um, underneath really really pretty so yay this that cheered me right up y'all uh, yeah and it was good cuz I put my glasses back on for it too so where am I so you added another eight minutes <laughs> now it's a Karen video yay I'm done for reals um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.